Okay, good morning everybody. One minute Matilda, it is Friday the 30th of July and we are at Alton Towers. It looks not great the weather today. Uh, we've just been in to guest services to get Matilda her um, 1.4 metre um, wristband. So basically they measure you in guest services and then they give you this on your wrist, which means that um, when you go on all the bigger rides, she doesn't need to keep being measured today because she's already got the wristband on, so they won't have to keep checking her height. And um, sometimes we're found. Every time to get the Yeah, well, but when you get like a little bit taller, they'll know that you're definitely 1.4, won't they? But some rides like still question whether she's tall enough. So with this wristband, she can just go, yeah, no, I've got the wristband and I she wants me to keep eight, getting so measured. I'm tall for my age. Yeah, she's only eight, so she is tall for her age. You are nine in October, but I don't think many eight-year-olds have been on Smiler before, yeah. so. <laughs> and I'm going like twice, so Smile is our you, you first ride, that, everybody. Well, we're going to head over now. So um, Aunt dropped us off in the um, drop-off zone today. Uh, which was really close to the front. Normally we just jump out, but there wasn't any queue today to come in. So we dropped, got just off drop off zone. We've come in, we've been to the toilet, we've got your wristband sorted, haven't we? And it is only 27 minutes past nine. So the park is open, but the rides don't open until 10 o'clock. So we're heading over to Smiler now, and we're gonna go and see what, um, not like what the wait time's like, but kind of like if we can gauge what the queue is kind of like. Um, sometimes they let you queue up for the rides, even though they're not open yet and you just kind of queue outside the queue system. So we're going to go and see how far back it is and then we might do that as our first ride of the day because well, it opens at 10, so we're not going to be queuing long queue for it. Because if I'm in that queue system, when I don't walk for really long yeah. and it's really cold, I do get to need the toilet. Yeah, but we'll just be in the toilet, haven't we? We'll just be in the toilet now, so hopefully we'll be okay. Um, last time we got in the queue system, we still didn't need a toilet again, so we had to come out. Um, we do have the ride access pass, um, but I always think for the first ride of the day, there's never really a need to use it. And we don't kind of use it if we don't need to and use it. And that place is called Bar Black because it says Bar Noir. Oh, it is. Um, looks like they're testing Pinball Wizard because I can hear it going round. And in French, Noir means black. Noir means black, it does, yeah. So we'll catch up with you again soon. Right, we've just got off Smiler, haven't we? Yeah. And what did you think of it? And um, we've got a It's still amazing, isn't it? Everybody. Yeah, we have. So um, on our vlog, I don't think it was last time we came, I think it was time before that, wasn't it, maybe? Um, when we went to Wickerman, I fell over on the um, poles at Wickerman because before you go into the actual ride you go inside this room and because they're not doing it well they might be today i don't know but they wasn't doing it um at the time because they wasn't doing the show it was just completely in darkness and i couldn't see and i kind of went into it tripped over the massive big like wooden post and like banged all my knees and I actually bruised them didn't i they were really bad and um, so i emailed them just to like you know i think you need to put up something just to tell people that you know if they're stood there um, it's dark and you can fall over so I think there should be I remember staff stood there or a sign or something because I don't think that's right and they sent us some free fast passes what sorry and they asked for a road up yeah the only problem is that the fast passes we had to decide what ride we wanted to go on and Galactica 13 and Rita are all not working so we've chose Smiler even though we've just been on it so we've chose Smiler We've chose Wicker Man and Nemesis. Is there no, there's no queue for this? Oh. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if there's a queue because we're actually at Spinball Wizard and I can't actually see. No, because you get on up there. There's literally no queue. We're going to walk around the queue. Come on. There's literally like no queue for Spin Wizard. Zero queue. So we're going to head round. So, we enjoyed Smiler, and um, Matilda thinks Smiler was amazing. There was a girl on it that was screaming her head off, which was really funny, wasn't it, Matilda? Yeah, it was so funny because Matilda's like sat there, like this girl's like a lot older than Matilda, and Matilda's just like, woo, woo. Matilda's like absolutely loving it and this girl's like really crying and hated it saying so she wanted to get off and she felt sick and, the, the, and literally we were at the highest drop and she said it came from the mind I know it was so oh, funny wasn't it we're at the highest drop now <laughs> it was really funny um, so 
we went on smiling didn't we it was really good um so considering that we got there a little bit early we got in the queue about half nine for smiler would you say they opened the ride at five to ten and we were on the ride by seven minutes past ten so from where we was that's all it took to get on the ride so it was really quick and easy so we didn't have to use our path so we're straight on We've come over Spinball Wizard and there's no queue, so it looks like there's going to be a walk on. We're literally walking around the queue line. So we're going to go on Spinball Wizard now. Then our plan is to head off to Wicker Man and use our fast track pass that we have for Wicker Man, isn't it? So we'll catch up after we've been on it. Okay, so we're still in the queue for Spinball Wizard. Um, we got in the queue thinking it was going to be a walk on and then we got stuck, didn't we, like halfway round. Um, I've just checked the wait times on the app and it's now saying 20 minutes. Um, so I think we must have like literally got in it as the time has just gone up. I don't think it'll be 20 minutes. I'm hoping it's going to be about 15 maybe. Uh, so we've just seen that Galactic has opened up, haven't we? So we're super excited about Galactic. So our plan is still to go on this, then we're going to head over to Wickerman and then we're going to go over to Galactica and Nemesis because we have a fast track pass for Nemesis. So we'll see when we get off this what the wait times are looking like, but we've got a fast track for Wickerman so we're definitely going to go over there after this. And then um, we will then head over to Nemesis and Galactica, which I'm hoping the Skyline will be working by then and we can just jump on that. Okay, we're off <coughs> Spinball Wizard. I still really do not like that ride. All the way around, my tail's going, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I'm just like, like, you know, I would rather do smiler than that. I really don't like it. Um, while Matilda's out of earshot, there was lots of um, bad language as well wrote on the fence and the queue as you go around, which really was not like extra explicit. It was really bad. Um, some of the language that was wrote on there, it's awful. I don't know how they don't know that people have. I know people do write on things and I know they can't look at everything, but the whole offence was literally covered in it. Um, it ended up being about a 15, 20 minute queue, which wasn't too bad. No, we thought it was going to be a walk on, but it wasn't too long. Um, the rain's holding off for us at the moment, so we're going to head over, like we said, to Wicker Man and hopefully we can get Wicker Man done um, before it pours down. And then I'm hoping that we can even probably get over to Galactica and Nemesis and get both of them done. And then we're going to have a look at the roller coaster restaurant. The last time we came, it wasn't open for some reason. Um, so I don't know, I'm hoping that it's going to be open this time, but we'll have to see. I'm really not sure why people would go on this ride today in this weather. It is Battle Galleons and it's basically like pirate ships, but you have like a water gun that you can wet each other. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see. So you can wet other people in the boats going past you and then also you can stand on the little dock over there and soak people. Now we did this when we first came, didn't we? After years of coming, that's our first ride and we got absolutely drowned on it, didn't we? Like Matilda was so cold, it was a hot day. There was a shark in the water there. Um, it was a hot day, um, so we did dry out pretty quickly. But just to warn you, you do get like absolutely soaking wet on it. They even have like the drying machines um, when you come out somewhere. Um, I think you come out all the other side so you can dry yourself off because it's so, you get so wet. Um, this is where we got our nachos from last time, didn't we as well? Oh, those waffles smell good. It's not even open yet. Oh, look at that. Just opening the hot dog one is. That's what we got, didn't we? The loaded nachos last time, 5.50. They were quite big as well, the portion. They were really nice, wasn't they? So we're going to now head, head to we're here at Wickerman. So we've never done fast track before. So I don't know what it's going to be like. But oh, Wickerman coffee and ice cream there as well. So I'll just give you a little bit of a clip so you can actually see what Wickerman's actually like. So it is a wooden roller coaster. Um, oh, is it on a steel track? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's meant to be like the effect of wooden though, isn't it, kind of thing. Um, so it kind of, it is quite fast actually this ride, I'd say. Uh, it's probably fast and a little bit rickety as well. Um, we are going to do it in a minute. The wait time at the minute is something like two hours or something. Um, it's a very long wait time. And then this is the Wiki man here. I call him Wiki. That's the Wicker man. So, oh, there he goes. So you go right through the Wicker man. And then normally fire comes out of him, but there's no fire coming out of him today. Yeah, some of the torches have fire in, don't they? That one does there. So 
so we're gonna head on now and see how we, if we survive the wicker man oh he's coming again so we're in the fast track here which you can get a really good view of the ride from here just thought i'd give you another little i can see someone going up there yeah there's the wicker man he's actually got like mist coming out of him today They've just gone up at the very peak there, that's where it starts off. Not sure if we'll see it for a minute or two though, Mrs, because I don't know when it comes round. Oh, one's coming. Oh, there's one coming round. There we go. So this is the Wicker Man ride at Alton Towers. Like I said, it is quite fast. Um, but it is a great ride. Okay, we're off Wicker Man. Um, it only took about 10 minutes um, with the fast pass, so that was really good. Um, I do have to say though that, oh my gosh, I think I'm getting too old for that ride. It really is like really, really fast. Like I would rather do Smiler over that again, um, which we are doing later, but I really would do prefer Smiler than that because it's just like so fast. Um, we're heading over to Nemesis and Galactica now. We've just chose to walk because we were closer to the walking bit than we was to the Skyliner. So we would have had to kind of walk right round to get to the Skyliner when we can just walk through the through the Forbidden Valley. Um, so we're walking through the Forbidden Valley. It's probably like about, what, 10 minute walk or something? Yeah, it's not a very long walk. It's quite nice walking through here. Um, so we're gonna walk through here and head over to, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna do Galactica first? Yeah, she wants to do Galactica first, so we're going to head over and go and check out Galactica. We are currently sat in the roller coaster restaurant. So we did Galactica, um, and while me and Matilda went on Galactica, and came and got in the queue for the roller coaster restaurant, and I'm so glad we did because now it is absolutely pouring down outside. And um, so we definitely made the right decision to get in here when we could. So basically, we're all in our chairs here. So I've got Black Hole, Matilda's either Oblivion or Smiler, and what are you, Corkscrew? Well, yeah, oh, well, our oh, Corkscrew. So when you come in, you get given an, like an iPad, isn't it? And you, the menu and everything's on there. So you go through the menu and pick your food and your drinks. And most drinks just get brought to you. And then in front of us is like a spiral thing here. This turns around and it has plates on, knives and forks, condiments and things. And then what happens is your food actually comes down this like roller coaster track. So you can see that some people's food is going to them right over there now. So it's going to go down there and then it's actually going to go down the track. Um, and onto their table. So our food will come down this track here. So you can just see it up there, but I don't know if it's coming. Oh, it is coming this way to us. So as you can see, it comes all the way down like that and then rolls onto the plate. And then you just basically have to check your ticket number to see whether it's your food or if it's somebody else's food and then you can just wheel it round and then you just take it off when it comes to you. It's really, really clever. And it's quite funky in here. Like you can watch everybody else's food coming down the tracks. You get excited waiting for your food, Like you can turn it round like that now. And then it just falls off the end. And that's the track done. So we're just waiting for our food to come down the track. And here comes some food. How funky is there? Okay, so the food has arrived, but it was a little bit confusing because we got a tub with just chips in, then we got your wrap, didn't we? Then we got a tub with just halloumi fries in, then we got another tub with kids' chicken nuggets, gravy and chips in. So we thought those chips were Matilda's and the chicken nuggets were coming in another tray, but they didn't, they all seemed to come together. So we now know that's Matilda's. You've got your wrap and I've got my wrap and we've both got the halloumi but it also should have come with a portion of Cajun fries each and there's just one portion of chips and they're not so why must have you Cajun, Cajun fries. fries. No, because that's not Cajun. So really me and Aunt both should have had a portion of Cajun fries. Yeah. 
surprise. So we're still a little bit confused, but something else might come in a minute. We never know. So we've just come out of the roller coaster restaurant, and the lovely man at the till gave Matilda a free roller coaster restaurant biscuit. It's a panda. A Merlin teddy bear biscuit, and it's Why got a roller coaster on it. Look. The biscuit? I actually think he might have given us the biscuit because another family kind of pushed in front of us in the queue. <laughs> I'm not sure if he felt sorry for us or so my face. I don't mind, like, but we were in the queue and they just kind of like happy. swept right in front of us. Can I eat it? Um, you can have it maybe after. So this is the roller coaster restaurant here. We've just been in for dinner. Um, this is also the queue for the roller coaster restaurant. So we got in the queue at like just gone half 11. So I would definitely recommend getting in the queue early because you could be waiting a while and now it's actually raining. Um, in saying that, we're about to go on Nemesis, aren't we? Yeah, then no, we'll get Smiler. We have our fast track pass for it, so we've decided we're still going to do it. And good then I think we're going to head over to Smiler and do our fast track on Smiler. Um, just oh. while it's raining, but we still want to get them done because we've got fast track passes for them, haven't we? Yeah. So we're going to head over and we'll see how wet we end up getting. And this is the Nemesis. I've just come off um, Nemesis and the Skyliner is actually still not working. Um, we've decided to go over to do um, Gangster Granny and um, normally we'd just get the Skyliner over because um, it goes right across and literally right where we need to be. But unfortunately, even though they're going out, um, they'll sign across you saying that it's closed at the moment. It might be open later today. Um, which is a bit of a shame especially when it's raining because to get to Kangster Cranny now is quite a bit of a way for us um, so do we go straight on here or do we go down these little steps so we're following this so it says the, this cross valley path through the gardens leads to the dark forest follow the red arrows so we're going to follow the red arrows to the dark forest. I think the dark forest is like 13 and Rita, isn't it? Yeah, which are both shut. Which are both shut, but still shut. I don't think they're going to be open all day by the looks of it. So we're going to come out at 13 and Rita, and then hopefully we just kind of loop around a little tiny bit, don't we? And we'll be at Gangster Granny. Um, it's quite nice though, because we haven't done this before. So it's really, really lovely here. There's loads of different pathways as well. So you can just walk around because it is just the gardens. Um, so it is really lovely. So we're going to head to Gangster Granny and we're going to use our ride access pass for that, I think, um, because the queue at the moment is like 75 minutes. But I thought at least it's somewhere where we're inside. After we've done Gangster Granny, we're then going to head over to Smiler and use our fast track pass on Smiler. All these poor people have just said to us, excuse me, is Nemesis up there? I feel sorry for them because they're going like uphill. I at least got to go back up we're going downhill here. So they've come all the way up here, all the way up that ramp. Then they've got to go all the way up there. We just came from back up all the sets of steps. Bless them. I think it wasn't too bad for us getting to Nemesis because we were already across the other side. We kind of came from Mutiny Bay and went through the, what was it called? The lake side. The lakeside walk, that was really lovely and only short. Like when I said before, it was going to be about a 15 minute walk. It was literally about five minutes. It was really quick. Um, but we're not going back that way because that would get us back to Mutiny Bay and we need to be right over the other side for Gangster Granny. So we're coming back this way um, to hopefully get us as close to Gangster Granny as we can. And we're trying to be very careful because it's really, really slippy and wet. And last time near Nemesis when it was raining and slipped. Um, so we're just trying to be super careful. I think sometimes I'd rather it actually be steps than like ramps like this because it's just so slippy. Um, but it is beautiful. You'll see the pagoda in a minute. Um, so what um, Matilda doesn't know is how Blash is a little bit in front. So we're actually checking into the Alton Tower. Not the Alton Tower. We're actually checking into the Splash Landings Hotel later on. Um, so we checked in online last night and we're waiting for them to send us a text message to say our room is ready. Um, so we've not told Matilda. We've managed to pack a suitcase and everything and get it in the car she has no idea 
and then later on today the only time we could get for the splash um water area was half past five tonight but we get half past five till half eight when it closes but we could only get one adult and one child so i'm gonna go in with matilda and i'm hoping that aunt might do a little bit of filming at the hotel for you i know i was gonna say we can see the fountain in a minute so i'm super super excited but i'm a bit gutted that we couldn't get in about like three o'clock four o'clock just so that we could have gone a little bit earlier um but anything's better than nothing i think matilda will absolutely love it as well wow that's beautiful that look at that so we normally go over the top of that on the skyline so you can see the skyliner is going but it's just not actually having people on it at the minute this is when we always look down and think oh i wonder where them people are going this is where they were going the high side oh we're going for the high side risky okay we'll see so change of plan again we got to um it wasn't worth the walk <laughs> it was not worth the walk we got to grand to granny it was soaking wet and we literally got to the door and it they announced that it was stopped working due to ride technical difficulties um so the man said yeah, I feel like they've watched forever. They walked up, like, I didn't even video that bit with massive steps and everything. And um, the man says, no point in letting you in. He said, because it's just gone down. So we're just kind of holding everybody outside for the moment. And um, we said, I don't know when it's going to back up again, but the best bet is just to go somewhere else and maybe come back later. So we're going back to our original plan of going to Snyla <laughs> for the second time of the day. Uh, we came through here as well for the Forbidden Forest. Sorry. Forbidden Forest, and they said um, they were talking about Rita wasn't in 13, so at least they're warning people as you come through. But they were saying that 13's got a crane over it, so that definitely, oh, yeah, you can see it there, so that definitely won't be operational today. And Rita, they're not sure about it's been down all day, and they're not, they don't think it's going to reopen again for the, the at least not today. Um, so that's Rita and 13 that have both been off all day, which is a bit of a pain, but there's no point coming, that's why I haven't. What, sorry? Oh, There's no point to coming this way if it's going to grab me as well. Well, yeah, well, you can go on that Raj's yeah. bottom berth and stuff, can't you? But what oh, do you want to say, Mrs? We're going to Raj's shop, aren't we? We're going to go back to Raj's shop after, aren't we? Because we're going to hope that it's going to open so we can go to Raj's shop later. Because you wanted to go and look in there, didn't you? But we'll head off to Smiley now to go and sit and get wet on another ride. <laughs> but never mind. And this is Smiler, which is what me and Mrs. have just got off. I actually have. I don't know why I asked if we could go in the front seat, um, which they said yes. So me and Matilda went right at the front and it was crackers. I definitely think it's way more intense when you're at the front than when you're at the back like we've been on the past. Um, it was good but oh my life it was intense and it was pouring down so we just kind of got like splashed in the face with water and it actually hurt quite a bit because Smiler's like quite a fast ride as well so I'd say like compared to like Wicker Man where Wicker Man's fast but Wicker Man's like also quite jerky Smiler's not like that it's not really jerky at all it's just very very fast um, and intense with all the loops um, but I still would say I love it like Matilda absolutely loved it still she thought it was amazing and she got off wanted to go straight around again and I was like no no not going again um, so the plan is now is today with Williams, um, Gangs of Granny Raddy's still not up, Rita and 13 are still down, we've done Spinball Wizard, we've done that twice, so we're going to head over to the hotel now. Um, we haven't had a tech to say the room's ready, so we're just going to tell Matilda that's going to have a walk around to check them out and check out the splash area to see if we might like to come one day. I'm hoping by the time we get over there that it won't be long and it will be ready. And then obviously I can always do a little bit of filming and look in the shop in the restaurant and stuff while we're waiting. Um, and then hopefully we can get sorted. So we'll catch up soon.